we are diving into Reddit's big third quarter earnings beat. Reddit, the self-proclaimed front page of the internet, they just dropped their key three 2024 numbers. And let me tell you, they are impressive. Yeah, what's really fascinating here is they didn't just meet expectations, they exceeded them on almost every front. Booming user growth, a major swing to profitability. It's a significant moment for the company. Okay, so let's unpack this. Let's start with that user growth explosion. 97.2 million daily active users on average. That's a 47% jump year over year. And on some days, they even surpassed 100 million. That's a milestone they've been working towards for a while. It really underscores how Reddit is becoming increasingly mainstream. And you know what's interesting is this growth isn't limited to logged in users. We're also seeing a surge in logged out users, which are up a whopping 70%. That logged out growth is wild. What's driving that, do you think? Is it just curiosity or something more? It's likely a combination of factors. Um, Reddit themselves highlighted a few things. One is their investment in machine translation. AI-powered translation is opening Reddit up to a global audience, making it accessible to people who might not have engaged with it before, you know, because of the language barrier. They're really leaning into that global expansion, aren't they? In their shareholder letter, they mentioned seeing particularly strong results in France, which is where they first rolled out the machine translation tech. And their DAU growth there is actually accelerated for three quarters in a row. Exactly. And it makes sense. If you can suddenly access a huge amount of content in your native language, that's a huge draw. It's no longer just an English language platform. It's becoming truly international. And they're not just relying on translation rights. They're also cultivating local communities mm -hmm. like our France, which just hit two million members. That's right. Content localization is key. They're fostering communities around shared interests within specific regions, which is a smart way to drive engagement mm -hmm. and make users feel like they belong. And then, of course, there are the product improvements they've been making. They're constantly tweaking things to make content discovery easier, speed up the platform. And simplify moderation. I've noticed it myself. The app just feels snappier and more intuitive these days. Absolutely. All of those seemingly small improvements add up to a better user experience. And that's reflected in their engagement numbers. Conversation page views in Q3 were up over 40% year over year. People are sticking around yeah, and engaging in discussions more than ever. So all of this user growth is fantastic news for Reddit. But Let's talk about the bottom line. How is this translating into financial success? That's where things get really interesting for me. It's where we see the impact of their strategy play out. Their total revenue for Q3 2024 was $348.4 million. That's a 68% jump year over year. But the really impressive part, they achieved gap profitability for the first time ever, a net income of $29.9 million. Compared to a $7.4 million loss in the same period last year, that's a massive turnaround. It is. That's what really caught my eye when I first saw the report. It's not just a fluke either, right? Their adjusted EBITDA was $94.1 million with a margin of 27%. That shows their core business is strong and generating cash. Right. This isn't just a one-time blip. It points to a sustainable business model. Now, of course, you might be wondering where all this revenue is coming from. Advertising is still the biggest piece of the pie, hitting $315.1 million in Q3. That's a 56% increase year over year, which is impressive in its own right. But there's another piece of the revenue puzzle that's absolutely exploding, data licensing. That's the real eye-opener. Other mm -hmm. revenue, which includes data licensing, skyrocketed to $33.2 million. That's a mind-boggling increase of over 547% year over year. 547%. That's incredible. What exactly is data licensing and why is it suddenly taking off for Reddit? Think of it this way. Reddit is sitting on a treasure trove of data conversations, trends, insights, all generated by its incredibly diverse and engaged user base. This data is incredibly valuable to companies, trying to understand consumer behavior and market trends. Through data licensing, Reddit is packaging this information in a controlled way and selling it to those companies. So they're essentially monetizing the collective intelligence of their users. Yeah. And given that massive growth, it seems like companies are really hungry for this kind of data. Absolutely. It gives them access to raw, unfiltered conversations and insights that they wouldn't be able to get anywhere else. As Reddit gets better at packaging and delivering this data, it's becoming a major revenue stream for them. It'll be interesting to see how they develop this side of the business going forward. It's almost like they're tapping into a whole new level of value within the platform, not just the user base, but the collective knowledge and conversations happening there. It's a fascinating development.
Yeah, it really is a testament to the power of community and how that can translate into tangible business value. But it's not just about the data itself. It's about how Reddit is positioning itself for the future. They're clearly thinking long term, and that's evident in some of their other strategic initiatives. Let's dive into those because they've dropped some hints about what they're focusing on next. Yeah. One of the big ones is improving the search experience within the platform. Yeah. That's key. Right now, Reddit is a bit like a vast, uncharted ocean of content. It's great for exploration and discovery, but finding specific information can be tricky by improving their search functionality. They can make that trove of content more accessible and useful for everyone. It's like they're building a better map for navigating that ocean. And that ties into their global expansion plans too, right? They're aiming to roll out machine translation to over 30 more countries by 2025. That's a massive undertaking. It is. And it speaks to their ambition to become a truly global platform. Imagine a world where language is no longer a barrier to connecting with people who share your interests, no matter where they are in the world. That's the vision they're working towards. That's a powerful vision. And it's not just about growth for growth's sake either. They've been very vocal uh, about their commitment to scaling profitably. That's a crucial point. They're not just chasing user numbers. They're focused on building a sustainable business. They want to grow responsibly, ensuring that their revenue keeps pace with their expenses. It's a balancing act for sure. But so far, they seem to be striking that balance quite well. They're investing in growth initiatives like machine translation and search improvements, while also exploring new revenue streams like data licensing. It's a multifaceted approach. And it seems to be paying off. But, you know, beyond the numbers and the strategic initiatives, there's something else that sets Reddit apart. Their culture. You hit the nail on the head there. There's a something about Reddit that's hard to define. But it's definitely part of its appeal. It's that unique blend of irreverence, authenticity, and intellectual curiosity. It's a place where you can have deep, thought-provoking conversations. Alongside, like, light-hearted memes and jokes. It's a space where you can be yourself, embrace your quirks, and connect with people who get you. And that's a powerful thing. It is. And it's something that's very difficult to replicate. You can't just manufacture that kind of culture. It has to grow organically from the community itself. And Reddit has done a fantastic job of fostering that community spirit by giving users a sense of ownership over the platform. Absolutely. They empower users to create communities moderate content and shape the overall experience. That sense of ownership is what breeds loyalty and engagement. It's like they've created a digital commons. Yeah. Where everyone has a voice and a stake in its success. Exactly. And that's part of what's allowed them to weather some of the storms <laughs> that have plagued other social platforms in recent years. You're talking about the issues with misinformation, hate speech, and online toxicity. Mm. Precisely. Reddit's not immune to those challenges, of course. But their community-driven approach to moderation has helped them mitigate some of the worst aspects. They rely heavily on volunteer moderators to enforce the rules and maintain a civil discourse. It's a distributed system of governance that, while not perfect, has proven to be remarkably effective. It's a model that's worth studying, especially as other platforms grapple with the same challenges. It's a reminder that sometimes the best solutions come from the community itself. It's about empowering users to take ownership and responsibility for the spaces they inhabit online. But of course, Reddit isn't without its critics. Some argue that their reliance on volunteer moderators can lead to inconsistent enforcement of rules or even biases in how certain communities are managed. That's a valid concern, and it's something Reddit is constantly working to address. They're investing in tools and resources to support moderators, as well as exploring ways to improve transparency and accountability within the moderation process. It's a work in progress for sure. But overall, I think Reddit has done a commendable job of balancing the need for moderation with the desire to preserve the free-flowing, user-driven nature of the platform. I agree. It's a delicate balance yeah. and one that requires constant attention and adaptation. But it's this very commitment to community, to empowering users that sets Reddit apart and contributes to its ongoing success. It's almost like they've cracked the code of how to build a thriving online community in the digital age, a space where people can come together, share their passions, and engage in meaningful conversations, all while feeling like they're part of something bigger than themselves. And in a world that's increasingly fragmented and polarized, that sense of belonging, that feeling of being part of a community, is more valuable than ever. It's a reminder that even in the vast expanse of the internet, human connection remains at the heart of what matters most. Absolutely. And Reddit, for all its quirks and imperfections, 
has managed to tap into that human need in a way that few other platforms have been able to replicate. Makes you wonder if there are lessons here for other platforms, for building online spaces that are both engaging and responsible. I think there are definitely takeaways. Reddit's success highlights the importance of community, fostering a sense of ownership among users. It's also a reminder that monetization and community building don't have to be at odds. They found ways to generate revenue without compromising the core values of the platform. That balance is so crucial. Too often, platforms seem to prioritize profit over people, and the community suffers as a result. Exactly. It's a short-sighted approach. Reddit's trajectory shows that prioritizing the community can actually be good for business in the long run. When users feel valued and heard, they're more likely to stick around, engage with the platform, and contribute to its success. It's a win-win situation. Yeah. And it speaks to a larger trend we're seeing in the digital landscape, a shift towards more decentralized, community-driven models. Right. People are craving authentic connection and a sense of belonging in an increasingly fragmented world. Platforms that can provide that are the ones that will thrive in the long run. Reddit certainly found its niche in that regard. But I'm curious, where do you see Reddit going from here? What's next for them? Well, that's the million-dollar question. That They're at a fascinating inflection point. They've achieved profitability, they're expanding globally, and they're experimenting with new revenue streams. I think the next few years will be crucial for them as they navigate this growth and figure out how to scale while staying true to their roots. It's a delicate balance for sure. And I think a lot of their future success will depend on how well they manage that balance. Can they maintain uh, the unique culture and community spirit that sets them apart, even as they become a larger, more mainstream platform? That's the challenge they face. But based on what we've seen so far, I'm optimistic. They've shown a willingness to adapt and evolve while staying true to their core values. And they have a passionate, engaged user base that's deeply invested in the platform's success. That community is their biggest asset, without a doubt. So as we wrap up this deep dive into Reddit's big third quarter earnings beat, I want to leave you with a thought. Reddit's story is a reminder that the internet can be a powerful force for connection and community building. It's a space where people can come together, share their passions, and find a sense of belonging. And as Reddit continues to evolve, it'll be interesting to see how they leverage that power to shape the future of online communities. I completely agree. Their journey offers valuable insights for anyone interested in building thriving online communities and harnessing the collective power of the internet for good. Well said. Thanks for joining me on this deep dive. It's been a fascinating exploration. The pleasure was all mine. And to our listeners, we encourage you to continue exploring Reddit and discovering the incredible diversity of communities and conversations it has to offer. You might just find your next online home.